Okay. She introduced me to a lot of her friends that were homosexuals. And it's to drag me to these gay clubs. And I have to sit there. They said, we want to see a show. We want to see a show. I said, okay, okay. So I'm sitting up in there, and I watch the drag queens come out, and they lip sync. I said, shit, I can do that. So then the next time we went, and they had a contest, because back then, you know, they had contests. So I said, okay, I'm doing the show tonight, y'all. And everybody's like, for real, for real, you doing the show, you doing the show. So all the guys took me in the back, made my face up, did all of this. I got up on stage, and I lip sang, and I won. Oh, wow. In the gay club. That's and right. then they started talking about, they was my manager, just started circulating me around North Carolina in these gay clubs. That's wow. But she was up but you know what, though? Janet Jackson, no, But you I know what, though? <laughs> I have to say that when the word gay means happy, it truly it means happy, happy. because exactly. anybody that I have met that is gay, they are the most embracing, happy people you ever want to meet. Uh oh. <laughs> Nobody could believe when I drove my mama to the gay club and I watched my perform. Shut up. You took your mama? Yes, ma'am. She said, "What? You took your mama?" I turned it out. I got up there, and that was when Janet Jackson did the Miss You Much. Um, oh, and I did man. the whole entire dance routine with the chair. You would have got my everything. money. What? Got my money. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my niece, but I, and I'm going to give props. But true is what it is. She, I was impressed. I was happy because I was like, she did that. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> and she's never shunned nobody that had another flavor in life because she grew up with me mm -hmm. and I never faked the funk with her. So therefore she was able to do what she had to do but she's a performer from her heart. That's what and she did what she had to do and the girls knew it too. <laughs> and my mama was perched up in this club and everybody just going around, hey mama, hey mama. And girl, you thought that she was the, uh, she the was mother of the club. Yeah, she was, was a damn mother. That's yeah, yeah, she was a damn mother. <laughs> Did you start out like that? Or you no, 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 I didn't actually. I, I started out just being me, myself. Just straight up. Church, just being okay. myself. And um, I mean, I've done like stuff like, there's, there, we have stuff like competitions called balls, I guess you could say. Oh, yeah, balls. I yeah, like balls like. and stuff like mm -hmm. this. And I did that for a while, too. What, what yeah. is balls? I'm, I'm um, new. It's kind of like um, competition where you have like people who vogue, you have people who walk realness, you have people who walk face, you have people who walk. Um, labels and all types oh, of yeah. stuff like that, and they kind of like compete against each other to see who is really the realest mm -hmm. or the face or the can vogue better or you know that kind best of thing. body, best, best gown, yeah, all of that kind yeah. of stuff. It's, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's fashion. Fashion, yeah, fashion was but, a big part of you had to come out and that you didn't step out with your right fashion baby, right? Or whatever seen you on the edge, right? Line. You get chopped. <laughs> oh it's wow! Really exciting to watch action. Yeah. It's real interesting. I mean, it's a it's an underground scene, but it's very, very, very deep. But there were no haters amongst themselves, mm -hmm. amongst the crew. Usually, you never had a hater. All the girls prop each other up. Right. Never. Well, of course, we each, uh, each one was trying to do better than the other. Mm -hmm. But she still each one gave each other prop. Girl, your eyelash, right, eyelashes right, are fierce. Right, right. Your makeup is fierce. Your eyebrows are fierce. Give each other props. Don't knock each other down. Give each other props. That's what for cell phones. Yeah, there wasn't no cell phones. Yeah, there wasn't no cell phones. Right. Nowadays, like nowadays, like nowadays it's like totally that. different. Though. Okay. Totally different. They like that. I went to a gay club, my first gay club, and they men because there's no shade. <laughs> Yeah. All of them are loving. All of them are embracing. Right. And, and, and if we don't like you, we don't like it. We'll tell you. True that. You that's know, the thing we know we don't care but, for you, but, but you that's rare. Yeah, that's way. right. And that's, that's very rare. But I'm going to say, I'm a, can I say, on first meeting one, they are so like, inviting, bringing, like, inviting yeah. saying, you know, hey, they, they'll talk to you quicker than a, a chick on the street. She'll look at you sideways. Right. Like, right, right. And then you see somebody that you don't know, a gay man, and he's like, hey. Hey, baby doll, how you doing? Know and they're, they're all honest too. If something they doesn't are. look right on you, they'd be like, "Oh no, honey, you need to change that shirt. It is not your color." You know? Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, Bella, you wanted to say something? Yeah. Well, from for 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 me, 
Okay, I want to I want to express this. I want to say that being being transgender is different from being gay. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Being gay is a sexuality. A lot of people Trans, don't understand trans, that. Either. Transgender is we're well, not even really transgender. Identifying as a woman mm-hmm. is that's who you are. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like there's no. That's the only thing I see you there, as. There's honey. no. There's no. There's no like. In between. In between. It's like only reason why we use that term transgender is kind of like to let you know some what our journey has been. But we identify as women. We go through the same thing that women go through on a day to day basis with these men trying us, you know, giving us the run around, giving us bullshit. You know what I'm saying? We all go through the same things, you know. So like I think the gay community is just more accepting, but it's it's a difference. It is. Now see, for myself, as me being, I am more of a masculine gay person, right. but I consider myself oh, trisexual. Uh-huh. If I try it and I like it, it and I choose it, <laughs> it I can't because I can't take my own way. And I'll tell a nigga quick, even swap ain't no swindle. If I want to play the thing inside with you, that's what I do as long as you don't get that, that twist. See, but it is can't what can't it is because that. everybody has right. some type of... Differential, differentiality when it comes to the bedroom. Whether you let somebody else know it or not, when you get to the bedroom, you have a different. It, it, you might like your ankles scratched. You know what I'm saying? And that's what gets you there. It is what it is. Not a fragile. When they get in front of their homeboys, you know what I'm saying? Then you want to act all hard. But I like when you act hard in front of me because when you talk about me, that don't do nothing but open up the door to let me know who you are. Right. Because I know when the door closes, you're going to holler at me. Mm. Ah, just like that, Uncle Greg. 